Problem number 21. Find two positive numbers, x and y, such that 2x plus 3y is equal to 10, and x times y squared is as large as possible. So this is an optimization problem that we need to set up. We want to maximize x times y squared, subject to 2x plus 3y is equal to 10, x and y are both non-negative. So there's two variables going on here. We don't like that. We want to get rid of we want to get rid of one of the variables, get rid of either x or y to allow us to, to work with just one variable instead. And so I'm going to approach this by getting rid of the x, writing x in terms of y and sub substituting in. So we know that 2x plus 3y is equal to 10. Solving this for x is equal to y gives us 2x is equal to 10 minus 3y or x is equal to 10 minus 3y divided by 2 is 5 minus 3 halves y. Okay, this is what, so we have x written in terms of y, so really the thing that we're looking to maximize here is f of y is equal to x, which is 5 minus 3 halves y times y squared. So we're trying to find the maximum of this here. Well, now we also have to think about what is the domain. And we have an optimization problem. We should always be asking ourselves, what is the domain here? So we see here that y has to be at least 0. So that gives us a lower bound. What about x? What about x? So. We know that x has to be at least 0, so that tells us that 5 minus 3 halves y is greater than or equal to 0. So if we take this and solve it for what does this say more specifically about y, 5 is bigger than 3 halves times y, cross multiply, y can be at most 10 thirds. So there's, there's our bounds here. Okay, so now let's actually tackle this. Let's take the derivative, set it equal to zero for the critical points. Each of these, if y is equal to zero, let me just kind of point out here, f of zero gives us zero, plug in zero here, you just get zero. f of 10 thirds also gives you zero, because in this case x would be zero. So those aren't going to be the solution. In fact, rereading re and saying positives, so kind of rolling out those choices here. How about now, how about critical points? F prime of y, take the derivative here. 5 minus 3 halves y times 2y plus, uh, let's see here, so this times this plus, sorry, this times the derivative of this plus this, y squared times five minus, oops, I want the derivative of this, negative three halves. And so what do we see here? This is negative three halves y squared. And then this is plus 10 y and then there is a negative three y squared. And this can be rewritten as negative nine halves y squared plus 10 y. Okay, so to find critical points, this is never going to be undefined. So you wanna ask when is this equal to zero? We can factor out a factor of y here and we're left with negative 9 halves y plus 10. So one critical point looks like when y is equal to zero, but that, that's already taken care of here. We know it's not going to be zero. And then this is going to give us negative 9 halves y plus 10 is equal to zero. 10 is equal to 9 halves y. Cross multiply, 20 over nine is equal to y. And so this is our only critical point. So this must be giving us the maximum here. How do, we, how do we compute what the maximum value actually is here? So we have y here, x 
is equal to 5 minus 3 halves y. 5 minus 3 halves times 20 over 9. And so let's see here. We end up with 5 minus 10 thirds. Okay, so that's going to be 5 thirds. So what, is, what are a pair of numbers? X is 5 thirds, Y is 20 over 9. These make, you know, this product here makes the sum as large as possible.